Welcome back. Here's the wizard head, <laughs> Wiley Brett, who spent the last 30 years forcing us to laugh at him. <laughs> You know the people that annoy me in the supermarkets are the ones with the food like that, and they're just reading the packets. They're like... Yeah. But what I like to do is I like to walk up alongside them, pick up the packet like that, and then just read the same one, just go... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, there's a good bit coming up. If you're going to cheat, do it well. <laughs> do it well, you know. Lance Armstrong, there was a man who knew that. <laughs> There is no more harm in a kiss than... Shaving a monkey and pretending it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> the master of spontaneous stand-up, Ross Noble, is on the road with his tour on the go, and he joins us now. Ross, you've Hello. got a jam-packed schedule. Yeah, wiz wizard hair. Wizard like, hair? Wizard hair, yeah. I mean, I thought not you untrue. said wi a wizened hand. <laughs> I thought, I thought you said that. Look, I, I wouldn't. Know, I thought, God, I wouldn't a, point it out. I, know, I thought it's a bit personal. I think your hands I mean, are lovely. It's but thanks. Yeah, it's not. But I, a wizard hand like, is I not. Just for a second, I just thought, hang on. I, I've always thought my hands were quite, you know. Well, why are you hiding then, them then? Right? Well, I, I'm, okay. I'm worried. I'm yeah. genuinely worried that there's <laughs> there's a certain because I haven't looked at my hands. In fact, I came, when I came into the because this fancy new building, yeah, isn't you it? like yeah, it, nice. yeah. And you know, normally when you open a door, yeah, you you'd see your hand and you go looking healthy today and I went because it's a revolving door yeah. I oh, didn't, you didn't get to look at your hand you know what not only did I not get to look at my hand the door and I'm not I know a lot of money's been spent on this building okay I get into the the glass door yeah. as it's revolving and it stopped uh oh it mm. stopped and sealed me in a glass box. Did the gas then hit Yeah, it, it was well, supposed they, to suck you up. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Like that. Yeah. And I genuinely thought, God, they're taking COVID seriously yeah, here. No. They, <laughs> everyone that comes in the building is trapped in a glass box. And what was terrible about it was the woman that was trapped in the other compartment opposite, everyone was trying to free us from the... And we just had to stand there. Staring like, at, each other. at each other. We, yeah, it was quite awkward, just like kind of... you know, Like, like a strange you, game show. Like, we're going to reveal the, the perfect matches, but you Your yeah, money starts coming out and you have to catch it. That's, you know what? With your wizened hands. The, with the, that's it. The new game show, Channel 9, they're yeah. doing a pilot yeah. in the foyer mm. where they trap people with wizened hands <laughs> okay. in a glass box. Yeah. yeah, and you have to try it. And it's, it's a cruel... To, if there's anyone watching who has a wizened yeah. hand, I'd just like to see Okay, it. so whatever I you've got planned for I your tour... I support you. You're an ally. Whatever yes. you've got planned I for your like tour, that, just... I went like that, realising, <laughs> supporting the... And I realised, if my hand was wizened, that would be anywhere. Yeah. Yes. Anyway, I I'm think free now. I'm, fr I'm out of the glass box. Wonderful to know. Yes. I think you should scrap whatever tour you've got. Go on. And just do this as a show. This is pretty much. This what is this, is, this show. is pretty much what I do. <laughs> to be honest, I will literally tonight. I'll probably get half an hour. Do you of... write a lot of material going in, or do you have a couple of like signposts? <laughs> you think I might go over here. That's a good bit. No, I see what I let things happen to me, and then that's weirdly. That's one of the problems with the whole COVID thing was the fact that you sort normally. Like in the daytime, I'll go off and just try and have adventures and mm -hmm. see what happens and try and observe stuff. Mm -hmm. But in COVID, you sort of go, I spent a lot of time just sitting in hotels. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you go, here's another funny thing that's happened to me while I was sitting in a room, <laughs> yeah. locked up again. But do you reckon then that you found the simple things way more funny? Like, any time something would happen, you'd be like, oh, look at this piece of toast, look how weird it looks. Yeah, <laughs> Everyone. be careful, because you end up becoming Seinfeld, yeah. you yeah. know, talking about all that. <laughs> and it, may, it does make you realise that Seinfeld literally must just sit in his house all day long, looking mm. at the toast. Uh, do you, uh, so, therefore, what do people can expect when they come and see you in the show? Well, what they can expect is, <laughs> is absolute nonsense. <laughs> in fact, because there's a fashion now with the stand up for people like bearing their soul. Yeah, are you ever going to do yeah. that? The, uh, oh, I do, accidentally. But there's, you, <laughs> you know, shock yourself. I just, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Oh, I didn't All know the I had time. A soul. All the time. I'll really? say it. I say it. I sometimes say things, and people go, "Why? Why would you share that?" You know what I mean? But no, you won't. You won't learn anything at my show. In fact, I would argue that after my show, you'll come out, you'll be actively stupider than when you went in. <laughs> you know what I mean? But when you're doing your show, like, you do plan, like, quite a lot of it. And your daughters feature a lot in your comedy as well. Do they? What are they like when you're hitting the road or whatever? Oh, they're used to it now. Yeah. You know, you know I, it's when I come back, they get surprised. Really? They go, oh, that bloke's back in the house again. <laughs> Who's that wizard guy yeah, in yeah, the house? Yeah. In fact, when, when I... Uh, 
uh, I had to do some. I had to do home quarantine after I came back across across the state lines. Yeah. And um, so I was quarantining in the outbuilding, like in the shed, basically, and uh, had my mask on and all that. And then they would be in the house. And I would just join them. I would walk past the window with my mask on. They it, was, scream? it was like I was haunting my own house. <laughs> and they were literally, they were just sitting there, Dad's back over there. But no, the thing, the thing with my daughters as well is the fact that, like, you get that thing of, like, if I make a joke, you know, like, like a dad joke or whatever, and they go, like, oh, Dad, I can go, that humour paid for everything you own. <laughs> yeah. So shut your faces. Yeah. I well, love I'll do you, what I want. but shut your faces. <laughs> shut your faces. It's the next <laughs> show. But go see Ross's show tonight at Sydney Comedy Festival and uh, right across the country. It's called On The Go. Head to rossnoble.com. Always great to have you here, mate. Thanks yeah, for having thank me. You, Pleasure. Mate. Thanks for coming You've in. You've got lovely hands. I just want to say that. <laughs> for the record. They are lovely. They are beautiful white lily hands. And we've got a lovely show coming up mm. as well. Betty White's home Get is up for sale. Oh, it's gross when I see it up close.